Hey guys, it's Coach Mike, owner of Empowered Sports and Fitness, and we are back again for another movement game of the day. And the name of our game today is called Deal or No Deal. Maybe you've watched the show before, but I'm turning the game show into a movement game, and I'm going to show you how you can do that with just some paper and a marker. No equipment is needed at all. So what you see right here in front of me are the suitcases. So just like on the game show, they have wonderful ladies that open up a suitcase that has a dollar value inside of it. So the whole point of this game is the athlete wants to take a guess as to which suitcase contains one million dollars. And to start the game, the athlete gets to choose one suitcase. And the suitcase that they choose goes off to the side and cannot be opened until the end of the game. And that's if we actually get that far. And I'll explain that in just a minute. So, but before we jump into this game, I'm gonna show you how I created these little suitcases with some paper and markers. What I have here in front of me is suitcases one through six. Chances are you're gonna to wanna to make suitcases one through 20, but I'm just giving you an example. So, what I did was, and I'm gonna open up the piece of paper first so you can see what's on the inside. On the inside of suitcase number three is $100,000, okay? It's not the million. So if the athlete had chosen this one at the beginning, they would have found out that uh, during the game or at the end of the game that they may or may not have had the $1 million. So on the outside of the suitcase, I drew the number. So like I said, maybe you make suitcases one through 20, all right? So here's how we do this. I'm gonna take a guess right now myself. I can't even remember where I put the million dollars. So I'm gonna say my guess is suitcase number five. So suitcase number five, this is my guess for the million dollars. This is the suitcase that goes off to the side, all right? We're not gonna open this one just yet all right now that leaves suitcases one two three four and six okay in order for an athlete to be able to open up any suitcase here's what i've gone ahead and done i've made a list that states if an athlete wants to open up one of these suitcases they must do one movement. So for my example, to open up one suitcase, you must perform 10 jumping jacks. So that's the movement that the athlete must do before choosing any other suitcase. So I'm gonna show you how that's done right now. Okay, so the athlete states that they wanna open up one suitcase and they wanna open up Number four, suitcase number four. So they've gotta do one movement, and let's just say it's jumping jacks, okay? They gotta do 10 jumping jacks. So I've completed my 10 jumping jacks. Now, I can open up suitcase number four. Let's see if this has the million dollars. Remember, I chose suitcase number five, so I'm hoping that suitcase number five still has the million dollars. Okay, here we go, opening up suitcase number four. Oh, suitcase number four has the $300,000. So guess what? That means I'm still in the running. That means my suitcase number five could still have the million dollars. Now, maybe your athlete wants to take a gamble here and open up two suitcases. So if they're gonna open up two suitcases, they need to do two movements. So maybe it's 10 jumping jacks, followed by 10 seconds of running in place. 
So, let's see. Uh, the athlete wants to open up suitcase number three and suitcase number six. All right, let's see. Does three have the million dollars? Whoa, close. It had the 100,000. That means my suitcase, suitcase number five, could still have the million dollars. They want to do number six. All right, let's see. Does number six have the million dollars? No, it does not. It has $475,000. So that means suitcase number five can still have the million dollars. Now, that leaves two other suitcases that need to be opened. Suitcases one and two. So for that, let's just say the athlete decides that they want to open one of the suitcases. So that means they need to do one movement. Let's say it's 10 jumps. One, two, three, four. Okay. And they completed that movement. So now they have to choose. What's it going to be? Suitcase one or suitcase two? I don't know. I'm going to take a guess here. I'm going to say suitcase number two. I'm going to hope that this one does not have the million dollars. Oh, it had the 500,000, which means you guys, it's now down to the final two suitcases. I chose five. There's one suitcase left. Do I stick with my suitcase number five or do I change my mind and go with suitcase number one? Well, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with my suitcase, suitcase number five, and hope that it has the million dollars. If it does, I win the game. So here we go, drum roll. Oh! It only had $250,000. So that means I did not have the million dollars. That suitcase number one, had the million. Bingo, right there. Suitcase number one had the million dollars. Now, what happens if your game doesn't actually go all the way down to the last two suitcases and the million dollars is found during the game? Well, you can end the game completely and start over or you can keep going and see if you maybe have the second highest value. Maybe you chose a suitcase that has $750,000 in it. It's your choice how you want to finish the game or keep playing. But this is a wonderful game that the entire family can play. It's super fun, super creative, and will probably keep you busy for a long time. Now, as a quick reminder, you might want to Make 20 suitcases if you're going to have three or more players. That way, people will have a chance to pick a suitcase of their own and open up other suitcases. Please remember to keep moving, have fun, and I will see you guys next time for more videos.